everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. Today's video might be a little bit controversial. Well, not really, but it may ruffle some feathers and it's because I'm gonna talk about luxury brands that I would never purchase from and why. And I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a heated topic because I know that these are brands that are loved here in the luxury community on YouTube. So, um, but please, I should preface this by saying that this is not meant as a diss to the brands or to offend anyone or to say, um, like to slander the brands in any way. It's not meant with the intent to be hurtful at all or to be offensive. It's just my own personal opinion of why I would not buy a handbag from any of these brands. And there's actually quite a few reasons I feel like for each brand, but I'm going to touch on the major one because I feel like a lot of the reasons why I wouldn't tend to overlap with the brands. And I'll kind of explain that a little bit more. Um, but let's see how this goes over. Please keep the comment section nice. Again, this is my true opinion and I would love to hear your thoughts below, whether you agree or disagree, as long as it's kept in sort of a nice, casual, light type of mood without, I don't know, pointing fingers at people. There you go, that was very long-winded. So let's start off strong. Let's go with Chanel. So ever since I started my channel, I've never really been interested in Chanel. And I know it is like top tier luxury brand and there's such a huge community here on YouTube that loves Chanel, but I myself have never really been drawn to the brand. And I will say one of the major factors for that, and again, these overlap from each brand, I feel like, but it's gonna be the price. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Um, I think the only handbag that I've really looked into, which is probably one of the more affordable handbags, to be honest, is the mini flap. And just looking right now, it says it's Canadian, $5,950. So $6,000, not including tax. I know that people in the past have told me, well, if you, you know, take those three handbags that you bought that were $2,000 each, you could have easily, you know, bought a Chanel, but would that make me happier? Probably not, like I'd rather have my three separate handbags and it's not like the quality versus quantity issue. I think that a lot of my leather handbags are really great quality. So I just, I don't think having the Chanel would make me happier in life. Um, and some people also say, but the, you could resell it on the market later on and you know, the it's a great investment. But honestly, like if I'm gonna invest in anything, it's gonna be real estate. <laughs> Um, I bought my first place by myself, I think in my mid twenties, just right out of a couple years out of teaching, I bought it. I sold it last year and we got over double for what I paid. So if anything, I think real estate is probably the better investment for me. And we just bought a place that's currently being built. So there's just different priorities in my life and I don't see myself spending $6,000 on a handbag. And I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite leather bags right now. Um, don't mind that noise. I was eating mini M&Ms. <laughs> but I will always and forever say Loewe leather is amazing and this puzzle bag is still my favorite. And when I bought this, I know now it's close to $4,000. Um, so I know it's definitely gone up in price, but compared to Chanel, I still think hate using the term affordable, but I still think it's a better, I guess, bang for your buck. Um, honestly, the leather is so supple, it's so resilient. I dropped this on the ground and nothing. So uh, I would definitely recommend Loewe. Another great handbag brand for leather bags, I would have to say is La Mer. Uh, I picked this up this year. It is, if you could feel this, you would understand it is buttery soft. Think like Lululemon Align leggings, but leather. That's how soft and buttery it is. And I feel like the craftsmanship and the quality, I think it is so stunning. And I know that it's going to age really well too. Sometimes even when you get a leather handbag, you can almost tell if it's going to age well. I feel like this is going to age really well. And you can get these on sale for under a thousand dollars. So the fact that you can get 
a beautifully well-crafted handbag under $1,000 compared to $6,000. And who knows about these price increases, right? So that would be another brand I would have to show. And then I got to show Coach because don't sleep on Coach. And I know there's a huge community here that loves Coach as well. I know that some people might be like, oh, you can't compare Chanel and Coach. Um, yeah, I'm comparing them because it's a leather handbag and I love it. So whatever. Um, I think that this is so cute. The leather's really good. And it's like under $500. So moving on, let's talk about Hermes. Another very well-known, highly established luxury brand. Loved here on YouTube in real life. Um, I know there's some more affordable options from Hermes. Uh, I think it's the Evelyn. I don't really know a lot of Hermes names. Constance, is that another one? Is that one affordable? Um, I think if I were to choose one from them, it would again be a very small handbag. The Hermes Mini Kelly, I don't know, 20, the 20, I guess it is. Um, First of all, I don't ever think I could get this handbag in my life, even if I wanted it, because I know I've heard so many stories about having the in with Hermes and you know constantly buying in all these little small things and building your portfolio up until they can finally offer you this magical handbag. Uh, but I just, I wouldn't want to play that game to begin with. I hate that. I hate the pressure. It gives me anxiety. But the reason why I would never buy or even, even pre-loved, I would never get a handbag by this brand is because for me, I think, when I think Hermes, I think old money. Will, or also new money, like the Kardashians, for example. Don't they have a million Birkins or whatever? Um, I, for me, it wouldn't suit my lifestyle. I wouldn't personally feel comfortable carrying, say, even that mini Kelly. Um, because I know what I do for a living. I am a teacher. My husband, works for the government. We are fairly comfortable. We don't have any issues financially, I would say, but we don't live a very affluent, wealthy lifestyle. And that is typically what I associate Hermes with, which it could be completely wrong on my part, but if I see someone you know, carrying a Birkin, I'm going to assume that they are fairly wealthy. <laughs> if you can drop that amount of money on a handbag, you probably have some decent coin. Um, and like I said, we live fairly comfortably and we don't have any issues financially, but it's just not suited for my lifestyle. It's not necessarily what I wish to portray. Um, I wouldn't want people to assume that I have a lot of money. Um, I would almost feel like I'm not necessarily being a fake, but I'm not holding true to myself, I guess. So I recently picked up this one from Parisa Wang, which is the Mini Madison. And when I showed this, a lot of people were like, oh, it looks like a Kelly. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, it kind of does look like a Kelly. So this for me will be my Hermes Kelly and I'm totally fine with it. I love this little handbag. I think it's so cute. And this is under $500 Canadian. So again, another affordable luxury handbag and I'm totally fine with that. And I don't care if someone says, oh, that's not an Hermes or that's not this or that. I don't, I don't care. You can think whatever you want to think. Like I know my worth. Okay. I work hard. I know my worth. There you go. Moving on to the third luxury brand that I don't foresee myself buying any handbag from would have to be Dior. And I know I believe it was last year on one of my luxury wish lists. I had put the Dior Bobby bag down and then so many of you, commented doesn't the logo look a little bit phallic to you and i thought huh and i looked at it and then i could not unsee it and i still can't unsee it to this day it's almost like my gucci sandals now they just remind me of batman um but i just i can't get over the logo and none of their silhouettes i'm really happy i didn't get the bobby bag because of that but also like looking at reviews people are saying it's really it doesn't really hold that much it's a little bit hard to get in and out of um, and I just, I haven't been a fan of a lot of their silhouettes. The Bobby was the first one that I kind of looked at, but now I have the coach tabby messenger and I feel like it's almost the exact same silhouette and it was under $500 Canadian again. So 
looking at that small Dior bobby bag that I wanted, it's $4,700. So with tax, like way over five grand. So there's no way I can see myself buying that when, like I said, my coach, Tabby Messenger, serves the same purpose. And I just, I, like I said, I'm not a fan of their silhouettes. So I don't see myself going towards Dior anytime soon. So those are the three luxury brands that I know are highly coveted and highly loved here on YouTube, but I don't foresee myself buying anything from them. I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let's keep a nice discussion down below. And again, thank you so much for the support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.